uh, this will be a short demo for the new environment prepare keywords in GitLab CI. So let's start with the CI file. I just created this project from scratch uh, a couple minutes ago. It uh, basically uses a very familiar pattern to everyone today. We only have three stages, test, build, and deploy. And what we want to do is we want to use some environment variables inside GitLab. So environment variables is uh, variables only available to jobs uh, deploying to certain environment. But let's say for some reason we want to use environment variable not only for deploying jobs, but only for, or, but also for building jobs. Uh, for the job, which let's say built uh, Docker image or something like that. So uh, all these three jobs are very similar. They are showing this uh, uh, secret variable uh, and just saying what they do, right? And also uh, in order to make this variable uh, do so, uh, like be present in the job, we use environment keyword uh, inside the build and uh, inside deploy jobs. So let's see how it actually works, right? Uh, I will duplicate this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, again. Uh, since this project just was created, uh, the pipeline also was uh, run a couple of minutes ago, right? Uh, so the first uh, stage is test. And as we see, uh, our stage and secret is empty here. And if we go to the building and deploying jobs, I will just go to the only to build job to demonstrate this. Yeah, uh, secret staging is present. And it looks like we achieved uh, what we wanted to. But uh, there is a problem. Let's go to the environments. Uh, yeah. And if we go to the environment view, we see that GitLab thinks that we actually deployed to the this environment twice in the pipeline over the like, a few seconds. Uh, so why is that? Basically, every time you specify the environment keyword uh, inside the GitLab CI, uh, GitLab thinks that this job deploys to environment. And yeah, this is just a little annoying to have a couple of jobs here, but it also actually breaks the workflow. GitLab has a feature which allows you to uh, stop old deployment jobs from executing and overriding your newly deployed, uh, deployed environment. So if you have a long pipeline and the new, uh, newer pipeline already finished and deployed to, uh, let's say, production, you don't want uh, the older pipeline to re rewrite this and deploy the older version, right? So GitLab will cancel this job for you if you set the setting uh, right. And in this particular case, if you held, have a build job, it can actually cancel the older deployment job uh, and nothing will be deployed until the newer uh, deployment job will run, uh, which is far from ideal, right? And also if you have multiple jobs and accessing environment variables, they, also can, uh, they all can cancel each other in the weird ways. So obviously you don't want to do, uh, don't want this, uh, right? So what you can do, uh, in the newer version of the GitLab, you can say that uh, this environment is not deploying something, it's just preparing uh, environment, right? Uh, and if I commit this, let's commit directly to master, um, just to speed up things. Uh, let's go to the pipeline. Yeah, you already see the newer one. Uh, so, Let's look at the testing job. Yeah, as you see, nothing printed still. Uh, build job uh, still have has access to the staging secret, uh, as well as, uh, sorry, give me a second. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, also, the deployment job also has this uh, access to the secret. I will just briefly open it. Uh, yeah, so let's go to the environment uh, one more time. 
So this is our staging environment. It was updated uh, 25 seconds ago. And as you see, now we only have one uh, successful deployment uh, to the environment. And also, uh, since the deployment isn't created, GitLab will not prevent uh, this build job. They will not be canceled by a newer deployment job, and they will not cancel any other jobs. So they are just prepare, preparing environments. They have access to environment variables, but they are not subject to this uh, cancellation uh, behavior. And this way you can just annotate that this job is preparing something, but not actually deploying anywhere. And your uh, environment view will be better, uh, uh, like shorter and actually more true, right? Uh, yeah, and if you have any notifications about uh, deployments, they also will not be duplicated. Yeah, thanks.